What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who are new to the channel, I'm a first year dental student at Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. On this channel, I make dental school vlogs following my journey throughout dental school as well as videos for pre-dents who are trying to get to dental school. Before we get into the video, I want to address a few things. Number one, I know the title says how to study for med school or dental school. For those who don't know, the first year of medical school and dental school are very, very similar. You take pretty much the same classes. The only thing that may differ is the scheduling of the classes, um, but pretty much you take the same classes and there are even some dental schools where the first year students are in class with the first year medical students. The second thing is I do not use Anki. If you've been up and down YouTube looking for ways to study for your classes and you see all these medical school and dental school vloggers talking about Anki, I don't use Anki. If Anki is something that you're not interested in, this is definitely the video for you. So I recommend you keep watching. Another thing I wanted to mention really quick, this video was requested specifically by my subscribers. If you're not aware, in the description of every video, I have a Google form where you can anonymously submit video ideas that you want to see on the channel. One of the more popular ideas as of recent have been how I study in dental school. So as promised, I make these videos for my subscribers. This is what you all wanted to see. So this is the video that I'm providing. Last but not least, of course, before I get into the content of the video, Please, 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 if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot on YouTube. I put so much money into this beautiful camera and this lighting and all this other stuff, and I do not get paid from YouTube. And, you know, I, I put out consistent content every single week. I hardly ever miss a week. I'm super busy as it is. Please, please do me the smallest favor and subscribe to the channel. If you're already subscribed, then please share the channel with other pre dents or dental students or whoever, please. It helps so much. And I put so much hard work into this channel. I don't get paid. The only thing that makes me happy is seeing that this channel is benefiting people. And the only way that I see that is through the subscriber count, the likes on the videos, or the rare commenters under the video. So please, please subscribe to the channel comment under the video if it helps or at least like the video. Okay, so let's get into the video. I promise I won't ramble. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. First thing I'm gonna address is why I don't use Anki to study in medical school or dental school. Essentially, um, the interface of Anki is not the easiest to use. Um, it takes a little bit of time to learn how to use it and more time to learn how to use it effectively, especially with your time. I personally feel like it takes way too long to make an Anki deck and then when you, want to, um, when you want to actually use it, you have to configure too many things to see every card that you made to actually be able to study. It's too much for me. I prefer to stick to Quizlet if I'm going to use flashcards. I do use Quizlet for some classes. Uh, I think it is worth mentioning that I study differently depending on what the class is. Uh, I won't go through every single class, but I will go through the different way I study depending on what type of class it is. And um, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna try to get through this video without missing anything. Um, first things first. When it comes to studying in medical school or dental school, you must stay on top of things. The best way to study is reviewing your notes the same day that you had your class. It helps you retain the information in the long run. It prevents you from forgetting the information after you just learned it in class. It helps a whole bunch. So number one, definitely review your notes the same day that you had the class. It helps so much. Just trust me on that one. So for classes that like to test based on memorization, <coughs> anatomy, I like to make flashcards. Um, the best way to review your notes the same day is to review your notes while making a Quizlet, especially for a class like anatomy where you have to memorize a lot of things. Making the Quizlet the same day helps you come up with questions to test the knowledge while the information is still fresh in your head. 
It helps you review your notes the same day. And then you already have a Quizlet made that you can study every day if you want to leading up to the exam. It's much better than waiting till five days before the exam to make a Quizlet. Then you only have like three days to actually study all of them. I don't like that. Make the Quizlet the same day. Study it leading up to your exam. It'll help. Another way that I like to study if I have the time is rewriting my notes. So I, like most professional school students, take my notes on an iPad. And ever since I started taking my notes on an iPad, I download the PowerPoint, put it straight on my iPad, and the notes that I handwrite are only the things that are not already in the PowerPoint. When I come home, a good way to reiterate that information is to rewrite or retype my notes, condensing my handwritten notes with the note, well, not the notes, but the stuff that the teacher put on the PowerPoint. It helps me condense all the ideas together, helps me review my notes, helps me make my ideas more clear, and reinforces the material, which is always key to helping you remember the things that you're learning. Number three, maybe one of the most important things is practice questions. Practice questions are essential to testing your knowledge and testing whether your study habits are working. Sometimes we tend to just study and study and study and we never actually test our knowledge. And then you never know if you're actually learning or retaining any information or if you're just studying and putting hours in just to say you put the hours in. It may not be worth it at the, in the long run if you're putting the hours in and not actually testing whether your hours are beneficial or not. You may not need to put as much time into what you think you do. You may need to put more time into the things that are stumping you rather than all of the information. And that brings me to my next point. When you're studying, it's very, very important to be uncomfortable. I feel like we have the tendency to constantly review the information that we're comfortable with because it helps us feel like we know something. If I look at something and I go, oh, I know that, oh, I know that, that helps me feel good, that gets your dopamine pumping, that makes you feel like your studying is worthwhile. Whereas if you take maybe one hour a day to just learn one thing that you didn't know going into that study session, that could be more beneficial for you in the long run when it comes to the test. Instead of paying attention to the five things that you do know every single day, pay attention to one or two things that you don't know every day. And then when you get to the test, you're going to know the things that you didn't know and you're going to be pretty familiar with the things that you already knew. So last but not least, I want to mention using resources that aren't offered to you by your school. So for all the different classes that you take first, uh, first year of dental school or medical school, whether it be physiology, anatomy, biochemistry, there are online resources you can find definitely on YouTube that will help teach you the information in a different way that your professor might. And, you know, Different, hearing the information in different ways can really, really help you hone in on the information and just get a different understanding from a different perspective and it may be more conducive to the way you learn. For example, uh, first semester we took neuroanatomy and we had to learn about the pathways and all that stuff. And I actually found on YouTube this thing called two minute neuroscience or something that honestly took my professor's one hour lecture and summed it up in two minutes. Obviously, it didn't go as in detail as my professor does in a lecture, but it really, really helped you understand the main gist of the lecture. And sometimes understanding the main gist or the overview helps so much when it comes to getting the little minor details to click. So definitely look into the external resources, YouTube, Google, all that stuff, which reminds me, um, I happened to find a research, resource called Anatomy Bootcamp, which was made by the same people that made DAT Bootcamp. If you're a pre-dent, I'm 100% sure you've heard of DAT Bootcamp before. Um, if you're new to the channel, you may not know, but over the summer, I did a video with two now D2 students from Meharry and Maryland and basically ask them to give like an overview of how to be successful in your D1 year. And one of the questions that people wanted me to ask them was, what is the hardest class of your first year of dental school? And both of them, even though they're at different schools, said gross anatomy. 
So when I got the email about Anatomy Bootcamp, I jumped on it. I happened to get it on sale. And it just so happened that they had resources for dental anatomy, anatomy, histology, neuroanatomy, physiology. And I've honestly been using it all year. I find it very helpful. I plan on doing like a full year review when the year ends on what I thought about Anatomy Bootcamp. But um, that just goes to reiterate the thing about external resources that may help you learn in a different way that your school teaches the material and you know that may be beneficial for you in the long run so external resources is definitely something to consider so as i mentioned short and sweet video for my subscribers this is something that they asked for so it's something that i'm giving you if you watched all the way through the video please make sure you leave a like and comment below share the video with someone that you think may need it i know everyone subscribed to my channel has at least one pre-dent or pre-med friend that could definitely benefit from watching the videos on my channel. So please send the link out, tell people to subscribe, say, hey, I found this YouTuber, his page is awesome, help me so much, blah, 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 if, you know, if that's true. If you're subscribed, I'm sure you are enjoying the channel, so share it with someone. It helps a whole bunch. Thank you so much for watching through the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.